Hi, in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a table of contents to your document and how to style up your headers right here in your document. And as you can see in this document, I have chapters and then I have sub chapters right here. So this is going to be a really good example on how to use a table of contents. And if you scroll down, you can see it's six pages of content. In order to add a table of contents, it's really simple. You're just going to want to give it some space. So in this case, I'm just going to enter it in right here. And then you go underneath references and this button right here where it says table of contents, just go ahead and click that. And what's cool is they give you two different options to do an automatic table. So I do recommend starting with that. And then in the future, you can always make adjustments, but let's go ahead and just choose one right here. And you can see when you do this, you're going to get this error message right here. So what this is saying is that you have to apply a header style to your different like chapter markers right here. So let me quickly show you how to do that. So what you need to do is assign a header to each one of these sections. So if you go underneath your home ribbon right here, what I recommend is I'm just using the default right now and then I'll show you how you can change all this stuff later. So if you go ahead and under chapter, you just click heading. And then this chapter right here, what I like to do is just click right after it and just click heading. So this is assigning the heading styles to your chapters. And then in this situation, I have a subheading so you could just click heading two so it's a little bit smaller right here so now i'm just going to go down the rest of the document and add the headings where i need to okay so now that you've added your heading styles what you could do is go back up to the top of your document and just like in the beginning what you can do is go underneath reference click table of contents and then add one of the automatic ones so let me go ahead and just click that so now you can see you're not going to get that error message anymore. And you can see right here, it automatically added in all of the chapter markers right here. And what's nice about this is it automatically will add the page numbers for you right here. And then all of the, your different subheaders and everything right here. So one thing to note is if you make any changes to your headers or it changes the page numbers, you're going to have to do one extra step to update it. So let me go down into this very last one right here, the role of artificial intelligence. Let me just change that to be on a different page so if i just go right here and then do like um, a page break now it's going to jump to a different page and then let's just change that to be um you know let's like abbreviate it so you can see for an example so now it should be a different page number it should be page nine and the header should be different so if you go up here you're going to notice that it doesn't automatically do that so it's always important if you're going to make any changes to your document, always do this step right here. And what you need to do is just click inside of your uh, table of contents right here, go underneath your reference, and just click this button where it says update table. So now if you watch right here where it says 9.4, it should update. And I like to do this button right here, it says update entire, entire table. So go ahead and click that and now you can see the page number is now 9 and the title is now the role of AI. So now I'm going to show you some options that Word's going to give you that you can change your table of contents. So if you select it again, go underneath table of contents and this button here says custom table of contents. You can go ahead and click that. And then inside of here, there's some options that you can change. So let's go ahead and say uh, right here underneath uh, the tab leader, you could see right here, you could do you know, the dots, you can remove the dots if you don't want it to between, you know, where the page number is and the title. So let's go ahead and do none. And let's go ahead and say a situation where we just want to show the chapters and we don't want to show like the subheaders. So what you could do is right here, it says show levels, just go ahead and click that down to one. And when you do that, you're going to see in the preview, it's just going to show heading one. So you can always go ahead and just click OK. Then you're just going to want to hit OK again. And you can see right here, it's now just going to show the chapters. So if you ever need to go back, you can always just go back to show levels three. And underneath here, there's some more settings you can change right here. So you can change how it's going to look. And what's cool is they give you this little preview right here. But now let me jump into the uh, themes and show you how you can globally change your whole document. And then that's going to update the look of your table of contents. In order to get there, what you need to do is in the main ribbon up here, just go ahead and click design. And then they have built into Word all of these different options right here for the different types of themes. So this is kind of like a good starting point if you don't really want to style the stuff up individually. You could go ahead and just do one of their uh, custom themes right here. 
and then it should pull all the way through. So let's say you like something like this. You just go ahead and click that. And then here's where the different colors are. So if you want to go ahead and change the colors real quick, you could do all of that right here. And you could see that it's automatically going to add that to all of your different uh, header styles and everything. And that's it for this Microsoft Word tutorial on how to add a table of contents to your document. Thank you for watching.